Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can build this modular custom character that you can modify over the whole game. We will use a few content packs for this, of course link is in the description. So let's go. So the first thing is I will use the third person character template for this. I would recommend to do this as well. So let's open up our third person character. This is the basic one, nothing special. And what I want to do is we want to replace this mesh here with modular components. So we want to remove this one here. For this I open up this content back here, as I said, link is in the description. The good part is it is sorted by every component that you have. So we have the face for example, we have the chest, hair, hands and legs. So the idea is we will place this inside the mesh here. For this Let's open up, for example, the chests, select everything here because currently it is attached to another skeleton as you can see. So right click, skeleton, assign skeleton. And the idea is that we assign our basic third person character skeleton from the Unreal Engine. So this one here. As you can see, this is the right path. So you have to do this with every skeleton mesh that you want to use. This could take a while. So I skip the process and assign the basic skeleton to all the skeleton meshes. So let's take a closer look to this one here. As you can see it's just the chest but it includes the whole skeleton tree of the basic skeleton. If you want to create this by your own you have to be sure that you create this with this whole skeleton tree. You can do this for example in Blender if you want to. All right, so let's go to our third person character and now what I want to do is we start up with the head itself, this one here, and we just assign it to the mesh. Yeah, looks pretty stupid right now, but we have to add up the other parts as well. So let's go back here and let's select the chest for example. Then we select the mesh, add component and add the skeleton mesh. Let's call this chest and select the third person animation blueprint as well. The same thing is we go back here and select the hands like this one. Again, select the mesh, add skeleton mesh, hands, select the third person animation blueprint. And as you can see, we we'll build up our mesh part by part. So now let's go for the legs, this one here as well, like that. So as you can see he has no eyes at the moment, so let's fix this. So again we will select it, but this time it's different because it's a static mesh. We select the mesh and add the static mesh here. This will be the eyes. And since this is a static mesh, we have to attach it to the bone here, in this case of course the head. Let's move it right here, much better. Let's do this for the hair itself. So the eyebrows for example, same thing, select the mesh, add the static mesh, this will be the eyebrow here, attach it to the head and rotate it. And in this case we have to move it a little bit forward, so 0.1 like that. If you compile it, looks great. Let's do this with the beard as well. And last but not least with the hair. So our character is nearly done. The last part is I want to add a weapon in his hand. For this let's open up the basic skeleton here, select the hand underscore L, add socket and let's call this left hand. And what we can do now, I go to back to the content browser here and I already included an Infinity Blade weapons pack. This is a free content pack, link is in the description. So let's go for the blades here and we select the SK Blade Black Knight. Looks pretty cool. Go back to the skeleton. What we can do is right click, add preview asset, 
SK Blade Black Knight. As you can see, now it is here. We have to rotate it like this and place it as good as we can here in the hand like that. So we can save this and close this. Let's go back to our third person character here. Select the hands. We select, of course, the SK Blade Black Knight here. Go back here. Add component, add skeleton mesh. Let's call this weapon. And of course, we have to attach it to the left hand. Like that. Maybe we have to rotate it. Great, let's see if this works. We have play. As you can see, we can move around with a blade and with our customized modular character. The good part is you can use other content packs because many of them use the same system. For example, like that or like that. So you just have to change the components and that's it. In the next video, I will show you how you combine this with the, our inventory system so that you can change the components with the components that you can find in the game. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.